or this afternoon to be in your presence. It is not by our power, neither is it by accident. It is because you are destined it to be. May your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus. We are committing this service into your hands. Come and take three minutes. Holy Spirit, take control. Direct us. Let all we do here honor God alone. And may all who come to worship and glorify God this afternoon go back blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, brother, even for those who are still on their way, taking their steps that they will come and be a part of this blessing. Amen. Thank you, brother, for that. Amen. Bless the be your holy name. Amen. Peter was sorted. Amen. Peter glorified. In Jesus' most mighty and powerful name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus name. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for our Lord. Put your hands beautifully, 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 beautifully for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you happy? Yes. So happy. Uh, we are starting a bit late. Because many of us have slept. The Laviata spirit has been driven away. <laughs> that Laviata spirit has been disturbing us. It has been driven away. Now we can have good sleep. But please don't oversleep next time. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Because when you oversleep, it invites Laviata spirit again. That will not be a portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Today we are giving room for special lovers, testimonies, uh, drama. If the Lord prepared anyone in your heart and you want to share it with us, you will be very free to come and share. The microphone will be very free and available for anyone that has something to bless us with today. Amen. So please don't hesitate. Come and use your gifts. Come and use your talent to bless God. That is the essence of church. Amen. Amen. Being able to make use of your gift. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. But before we go on, I just want to give us a very short and brief exhortation. And it's titled Killing the Old Man in You. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Killing the old man in you. Amen. Amen. When we talk about the old man, who are we talking about? The old self. Huh? The old self. The old self. Those things that, that we are finding difficult to keep off from us. Those things that have refused to adore or glorify God in our lives that we have refused to leave behind. At every occasion we talk about it, at every occasion we remember it, at every occasion we want people to know that yes, we used to become dead. Amen. Amen. Even when God has said, I've forgotten about all those things in your life, but we kept on going along with the old man. I pray that Today, after this message, we will completely get rid of this old man in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our Bible to Mark chapter 7. The Gospel of Mark. Mark chapter 7. If you are there, let me hear you, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we're going to look at verse 21. Okay, let's take it from verse 20. 20 to 23. He went on, this is Jesus now talking. What comes out of a man is what makes him unclean. For from within, 
out of men's hearts come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from inside and make a man of pain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everything that we mentioned here, they are part of the good man in us. Amen, somebody. Amen. We need to destroy these things. The Bible is telling us that it's not what goes into us that makes us complain. Because today, we are always looking at, oh, you eat that food, you eat that uh, Francophone food, you are not unclean. You, some, uh, the most people, when, you, when they say that you eat food, they say you are unclean. Hallelujah. Amen. When they say that you eat snake, they say you are unclean. Hallelujah. Amen. If, if, when they say that you are eating meat that is not halal, Meat that was not uh, uh, slaughtered, the neck was not slaughtered. They say you are eating an unclean thing. That means it makes you unclean. But the Bible is telling us here that what, what goes into us does not make us unclean. Hallelujah. Amen. But what comes out of you? Amen. 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 But we have to be very careful because. What comes out of you is a determinant of what goes into you. Hallelujah. Amen. When you move with terrorists, you are always with them all the time. They, they feed you with some words. So you know, they are going into you. Hallelujah. Amen. They begin to go into you. And before you know it, you are thinking like them. Before you know it, you are already executing what they want you to execute. So that <coughs> seventy virgins can be waiting for you in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have so many virgins here on earth. Must you kill people because you want to have seventy virgins in heaven? Amen. Amen. If you want one million pages, we can give them to you here. Why take the lives of people? Hallelujah. Amen. So, what I want to try to say, the Bible says we should not be only yoked with unbelievers. Your environment can influence you, it can affect you, it can affect the way you think, it can affect the way you do things. The people you move with. Amen. Amen. For instance, there are some people who came to this church a long time ago. Before they joined us, maybe they were smokers, maybe they were womanizers, maybe they were doing one thing or the other, but when they came here, they saw that people who are here don't involve in such things. Maybe they, they, they drink a lot of alcohol. When they came here, they found out that people who are here don't do such things. It is forbidden here. And before you know it, they are used to it, they no longer do those things. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what we're talking about. Your environment can be so influential to the way you do things and the way you go in your in your Christian life. Hallelujah. Amen. These things that we involve ourselves in are those things that are destructive to our Christian life. If we keep going on with these things without changes, there's no way we can make heaven. When when you are when you have evil thoughts all the time. When you see people that are doing well, you, instead of you to bless God for what God has done in their lives, and also ask God to 
give you the same. You become envy. You become. You have evil thoughts towards them. There's some people they will even go and plant. They know you are doing well. They will go and plant uh, drugs in your house so that, and they will still not be the one to go and inform police. Police will not go and see drugs in your house. At the end of the day, the person is arrested and goes to jail for nothing. Evil thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. These things are not good. As Christians, we must not do such things. We should be happy when people are happy. Bless God for what God has done in their lives, and that will also attract blessings to your lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sexual immorality is another is another old man in us that we have refused to leave behind. Some of us will say, it's because I am not married. Marriage does not stop sexual immorality. There are so many people who say, oh, I want to, I want to get married because I want to stop communicating or I want to stop sleeping with other, pe other people's wives or other people's girlfriends or whatever. Uh, so that I can depend on only one. But you find out that even after this marriage, they still find themselves sleeping with other people. It does not, marriage is not the solution to, to sexual immorality. The solution is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you don't have Jesus, you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you will still be Whenever you see other women, you will only see them better than your wife. Whereas they are even worse than your wife. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the best thing is to have Jesus. So that he will direct you. Because sexual immorality is the only sin we commit with our body. Amen. Yeah. It destroys our body from within. It destroys. So many people who are involved in this sexual immorality, many are no more, they are in their grave today with their talents, they are gone. Because they involve themselves in sexual immorality. It is very, very unfortunate that Christians of today, the stories we hear about Christians of today, even preachers of the gospel, who stay with members of their church, members of the choir. I don't know what has come into the church. The spirit of Labiatan has 